Welcome back YouTube, you have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and here is the camera comparison I promised between Google Camera version 7 and 7.1. As you may know version 7 was the first one to enable the astrophotography but it was ported from the Pixel 4 which is not the official version. And then Google released version 7.1 that includes the final version of the astrophotography to older Pixel models. So it's good to know if there is any difference in images quality when it comes to astrophotography. I will be also using the Pixel 3 XL for this comparison, while I know that the Pixel 4 will make more sense, but unfortunately, the device is not yet available in the UAE. But this comparison will still be helpful for people who are not planning to upgrade to the Pixel 4 or using the Google Camera app on non-Pixel devices. I will also include the iPhone 11 Pro Max to the comparison to see how far we can get with the G-Cam on last year's Pixel 3 XL versus this year iPhone 11 Pro Max. The comparison took place in the desert in complete darkness in an area called Kodra Desert in Dubai between 11.30 p.m. to 12.30 a.m. And as you see, I'm using a tripod and I will fire the astrophotography on the Pixel 3 XL and the maximum exposure time on the iPhone, which is 30 seconds. But before getting started, let's make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. So let's take a look at the first image pushing both cameras to their limits. Let's start with the sky. The colors coming out of the two Google camera versions are almost identical where the sky color is blue which is more true to life. While on the iPhone the sky has a yellow tint and the whole image is warmer than what it should be, producing inaccurate and unnatural colors. When you zoom in the sky in the iPhone image is grainy and the stars look washed out while on the Pixel either version 7 or 7.1 the noise is a lot less and the stars are well presented. When you check the trees you see they are a lot more detailed in both versions of Google camera with more accurate colors while the iPhone is losing detail and the colors are inaccurate. To sum up, I don't see any difference between version 7 and 7.1 in this image and the Pixel is definitely the winner by far. Next image showed a very slight difference between Google Camera version 7 and 7.1, only when you zoom in. The image coming out of version 7.1 is a tiny bit less noisy, while again on the iPhone the sky is grainy and the stars are washed out. So let's check a slideshow of images that supports the conclusion. In this image, there are some differences between version 7 and 7.1. The image coming out of version 7.1 is brighter, with cooler colors, and also more detailed when you zoom in at the road. This image also looks brighter and more detailed in version 7.1 than version 7. And here is the final shot. In this image I tried to capture the moon and I know it's not possible with any camera at the moment but I thought of giving it a try. And version 7.1 surprised me as it produced the best image of the three. So that's pretty much it and the final conclusion is version 7.1 was better than version 7 in 4 images out of 8. Which means it's not just a matter of a new interface and features but it seems that Google did some enhancements under the hood. And if I'm gonna give a rank, version 7.1 is the best, followed by version 7, and the iPhone comes last. And I'm really waiting to get my hands on the Pixel 4 to see how things will improve over the Pixel 3. So thank you for watching, I hope you like my video, and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.